Have you ever heard the term lightweight concrete and thought, wait, if it's lighter, doesn't that mean it's weaker? It's a pretty natural assumption. After all, in everyday life, we often connect weight with strength. But in construction, things don't always work that way. Lightweight concrete is one of those materials that seems to challenge our intuition. It may be lighter, but that doesn't make it weak. In fact, in many cases, it can perform just as well, or even better, than traditional concrete. So, you might wonder, why is lightweight concrete not weak? And how has this lighter version of one of the world's most important building materials proven itself in real-world projects? Let's break down the mystery, right here, on History of Simple Things. Before we can talk about strength, we need to understand what lightweight concrete actually is. Traditional concrete is made from cement, water, sand, and gravel. Gravel and sand are dense, heavy aggregates. That's what makes normal concrete so heavy and bulky. Lightweight concrete swaps out those traditional aggregates for lighter materials. Instead of gravel, you might see expanded clay, pumice, perlite, vermiculite, or even recycled industrial byproducts like fly ash pellets. These materials create a structure with lower density. The result? A concrete that weighs significantly less, sometimes 20 to 40% lighter, than normal concrete. Now here's where the misconception comes in. When people hear lighter, they assume weaker. But in construction, density and strength are not the same thing. A material can be lighter, yet still deliver remarkable durability and performance. In many ways, lightweight concrete has also become the modern equivalent of bricks. Just as clay bricks once shaped the walls of cities and gave builders a simple, modular unit to work with, lightweight concrete often comes in block or cube-like forms that serve the same purpose today. These blocks are easier to handle because of their reduced weight, yet they provide excellent strength and insulation. For builders, that means faster construction, less strain in lifting and placing, and walls that perform better over time. Where traditional bricks relied on heavy clay, lightweight concrete blocks represent an evolution, combining the practicality of a simple shape with the advanced engineering of modern materials. So how can lightweight concrete stay strong despite having less mass? The answer lies in how it's engineered. When we replace heavy aggregates with lightweight ones, we aren't just tossing in random weak fillers. These lightweight aggregates are carefully chosen because of their properties. Expanded clay, for example, has a porous structure that makes it much lighter, but it's also strong enough to bond well with cement paste. This bonding is critical because the interface between the aggregate and the cement is where concrete often fails under stress. Another factor is water absorption. Many lightweight aggregates can absorb water into their pores. This might sound like a weakness at first, but it actually helps during curing, the chemical reaction that hardens concrete. By holding on to water and slowly releasing it, the aggregates improve internal curing which leads to better strength development over time. So, lightweight concrete isn't just hollow or fragile. It's designed in a way that balances lower weight with strong internal bonding. Now let's talk numbers for a second. Normal concrete weighs around 2,400 kilograms per cubic meter. Lightweight concrete? somewhere around 1,600 to 1,800 kilograms. That's a massive difference when you think about the scale of modern buildings and bridges. And yet, its compressive strength, the measure of how much pressure it can take before breaking, still lands in the 20 to 50 megapascals range. In plain language, that's strong enough for most major construction projects, from high rises to highway overpasses, 
But you don't have to just take the science at face value. The real proof comes from real-world projects. Engineers have trusted lightweight concrete in some of the most ambitious and demanding structures. Take the San Francisco Bay Bridge or the Tampa Bay Skyway Bridge, both massive pieces of infrastructure that depend on concrete not just being strong, but reliable for decades. And guess what? They used lightweight concrete, not as an experiment, but because it made the entire design more efficient and durable. And it's not just bridges. Skyscrapers rely on it too. Think about a high rise. Every floor you add puts more and more weight on the foundation. If you can cut down that weight by 20 or 30% without sacrificing strength, you're suddenly opening the door to taller buildings, thinner foundations, and lower construction costs. Lightweight concrete has literally helped shape the skylines of cities around the world. Strength, of course, isn't only about how much weight something can hold in the moment, it's also about how well it performs over time. And here again, lightweight concrete has an edge. In cold climates, traditional concrete can suffer from freeze-thaw cycles. Water seeps in, freezes, expands, and cracks start forming. Lightweight aggregates actually help prevent this because their pores act like tiny pressure release valves. Instead of concrete cracking under that pressure, it can absorb and handle it. And then there's energy efficiency. Because it's less dense, lightweight concrete doesn't conduct heat as quickly as regular concrete. That means buildings made with it naturally insulate better, keeping interiors cooler in summer and warmer in winter. It's not just strong, it's smarter. In some situations, lightweight concrete doesn't just match traditional concrete, it outperforms it. Earthquake zones are a great example. In seismic events, the lighter the building, the less force it experiences from the shaking ground. By using lightweight concrete, engineers can design safer structures that handle earthquakes more effectively. The same goes for long-span bridges. Lighter decks mean less stress on supports, which means a longer lifespan. So why does the myth of weakness persist? Probably because of the name. Lightweight just doesn't sound tough. It gives the impression of compromise, like diet soda compared to the real thing. But the truth is, lightweight concrete isn't a watered-down version of concrete. It's a carefully engineered material that's been tested, trusted, and proven in some of the most demanding structures on Earth. When you add it all up, lightweight concrete isn't weak. It's proof that strength doesn't always come from being heavy. Sometimes it comes from being efficient, adaptable, and designed with purpose. So the next time you hear someone dismiss lightweight concrete as flimsy, you'll know the truth. It's not a compromise. It's an advancement. A material that shows us lighter can still be stronger, smarter, and better for the future. Because in construction, as in life, weight isn't the only measure of strength. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.